All right, here we are on part two. Um, as you can see, I have now finished repairing this. Not pretty, but it's it's not going to be seen. And underneath this grey um, adhesive, there is pieces of metal, making this remarkably strong. And also, I have repaired the switch. So hopefully that will be okay. And inside here, this is now set. Once I put these in, which is real easy, so I won't bother showing you because I'm sure you can figure it out, especially if you took it out. Uh, the next thing to do will be to finish tucking this in here. And then once I've got it tucked in, I will be applying this adhesive in a seam to hopefully hold it in place. Uh, the tools I'm using to push it in are actually trim tools, which I guess is rather appropriate. This particular one, which is very handy for pushing in there, and then for the final little piece, I'm using this particular tool and pushing it all the way down and uh, sometimes giving it a little tap on the end so that it makes sure that it uh, gets pushed in fully. I will then put some tape along here, squirt in the adhesive, smooth it off with my finger, and pray that it holds it. I'll let you know. Well, here we go again. Hence my reason for hating plastic on cars while trying to fit the switch back in here. This little piece that goes here broke. Crappy shit again. I really do detest plastic. Now I'm going to have to try and fashion some kind of repair. Do a half decent job. Much better than Mr. Ford did. Alright, here we go now. I'm trying to bond this vinyl, which they pretend is leather, to the plastic. As you can see, I've masked it off, and now my intention is to squeeze this product in there. Loctite P3X Construction Adhesive. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I chose this one because it does vinyl, and I also chose it because of the colour. So let us see. We'll squirt it in. Here she comes, and then I will run my finger along to smooth it out. I'm really not sure how this is going to go, so if it screws up, oh well, too bad. It's my car. I'm just sick and tired of this thing coming off. Whoopsie! like doing bathroom ceiling. I'm going to squirt a lot more in than I really need. And then hopefully when I smooth it out, it'll make a nice smooth bead. If it doesn't, I'll keep working at it. And up here in particular, I'm going to need a lot more. I got a whole tube full to play with. To you too. And when I run my finger along it, what I'm actually hoping is that I'll be forcing this adhesive down in to the groove. Okay, now it's time for the finger work. And I need something to wipe my fingers on. That's it, good old piece of towel. Let's see how this goes. Uh, 
Okay. And again, run my finger along. Now, of course, you can see why I put the tape on there. Because it'll hopefully give me a nice smooth edge when I take the tape off. It's looking pretty good down here, but I think I would like some more there. Wet finger, grab gun. Okay. Actually, give me one second. Take my glasses off, I can see better. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, baby. Okay. Hopefully I'm not making you guys feel too sick by moving around a lot, but I can't turn the camera off now. As my fingers are covered in glue. That's not a good thing. There we go. Whoops. Go da 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 da. Fortunately, this glue, adhesive, whatever you want to call it, does take a while to set. Which again gives me time to play with it to get it to look right. And what I'm really hoping is that when this dries, it dries a little lighter colour than it is. But if it doesn't, it's not a big deal. Let's try and get some of this excess out of the way so that when I do come to take the tape off, it doesn't give me too much grief. And I know it's going to give me grief. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tape off while it's still wet. That may not be a good idea. I'm about to find out. And if it turns out not to be a good idea, you'll hear some new Roman language. Oh no, sorry, they call it French, don't they? All right. I suppose you guys want to see me taking the tape off to see what happens. I'd rather you didn't, but all right. Uh, yeah, let's see. Start with this little piece here. And let's go here and see. Now I believe if I get the angle right, And peel it down and away it should leave a nice edge still with me. Okay, so it's gonna... Oh, there we go. Okay. Ha 
there. Of course, my fingernails are covered. Hmm. Makes it tricky getting near. Ah, oh, there's a corner. All right, now let's see what happens on this side. Yes. Hmm. Hopefully this is staying in focus and you're seeing what I'm seeing. I'm just trying to get the edge up. I don't want to take my gloves off. Otherwise I'll get glue all over myself. And then I'll be stuck up. <laughs> Remember being accused of that when I was young. It's a total lie. There we go. Let's see. I've got to get that angle right as you peel it off. There we go. Okay. If you guys are finding this particular part boring, I'm sorry. Talk amongst yourself. trying to make sure I leave a nice edge and I got a feeling if I waited till it was set the edge would fight me all the way okay I'll take that piece off in a minute okay doesn't look too bad. I'm hoping that where it's pulled up here, where the tape came off, there's still enough bonding down there. Do I dare do this? Okay, well now I have to leave it to set. And then we will see. And of course, one thing I could do afterwards is to get some matching paint, which is all leather is painted, because you don't get cows that colour, or balls. And it's probably not leather anyway, it's probably vinyl. And then give it a touch up of paint. I believe it says it's paintable, so we will see. Um, okay, time to cut this one off. Uh, and continue with the repair in here. And tomorrow, put the seat back together.